Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Isa and today we're doing a Q&A, answering some of your questions in order to celebrate our 1000 subscribers here on YouTube. We have our girlfriend Lexi with us. She is also here to answer some of your questions regarding someone who doesn't have the ID that is in a relationship with a system. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn something about us, about our life and let's get started. <laughs> Do you have any fictives? We or our system does not have any fictives at the moment. We had one fictive in the past, I think, which was old Drew before he integrated. He was based on a fictional character that was created during roleplay from our system and his personality was based on this character and this fictional character was also based on another fictional character which is Drew from Pokemon, that's also where he got his name from and his love for Green and <laughs> his, kind of his confidence. So now to her. How was it starting to get to know our system? How was it starting to, in general, how was it to get to know a system in general? It was a little bit different for us. Like I got to know you as a singlet. We were, we are together a long time and we were friends before that. We knew each other since we were like 10. 10. We were in one class. So I got to know or like get to see the process of them discovering that they are a system. She was like, we knew each other like from primary school. Like I was in one class and she was in the class next to us. We did not have anything to do with one another. I know I remember myself being scared of her because we were <laughs> <laughs> like she's tall and or otherwise like we are or the body is super little and super, super tiny. tiny and like she was always very tall and we always thought that tall people were scary people so we did not really interact with each other but we also went to the same school after primary school and we were together in one class and that's when we started to get to know each other when we started to become friends best friends best friends best 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 best, 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 best friends <laughs> <laughs> so she always like knew us she got to know us as a whole thing without her knowing that we were a system how was it building relationships, whether it's building friends relationships or building like serious relationships love-wise? With friends, like it's kind of, we knew each other since early beginning and afterwards when they got their diagnosis, I realized I talked to other alters when I thought it was just Isa. Like for example, Jake. It was not like I and Jake are like, hey, I'm Jake. And <laughs> Who are you? No, we were just like knowing each other. <laughs> yes. We were so just best friends. Like <laughs> totally. So like I always kind of was her older brother, kind of. Like I was always very protective. I was the one telling her things and teaching her things. So she learned a lot from me and totally and like with dating I'm I'm now in a relationship with my boyfriend <laughs> with Drew and it also was like Jake we were like we just knew each other I don't have to get to know you like hi I'm I'm Lexi yes. you are <laughs> hello I'm Drew yeah no I just 
after I knew they are not just one person, it was like we clicked. <laughs> yes, so. So, I'm wearing actually... your head. Yes. I look like my, my boy's girlfriend. <laughs> yes. So, usually, like, I wear, wear her clothes because she's taller, she can't wear my clothes. Usually, so I wore hers. Yes, but that's okay. Really cute. Yes. Today it's otherwise. Yeah. When we get close to you. Um. Okay. So, someone really wanted to know if you have any advice for someone that's a singlet to what's important in getting to know a system, building relationships, friendships, dating a system. Do you have any advice? My top advice would be be patient. Take your time, really get to know them, get to know every, or like the altars that front the most, get to know their personality, their type, their way of expressing them. Like, be really patient. Like, it takes a lot of time to really build a relationship or get to get their trust. You have to take your time, be patient. From our perspective, from us being a system, regarding other singlets or other systems that want to get to know another system, it's very important to set boundaries to help yourself because if you can't like take care of yourself it's hard to build a relationship it's important to set boundaries for example you can always offer someone that you want to talk or if he wants to talk or if they want to talk they can always come to you they can trust you but if they don't want to then don't rush them don't pressure them in doing so if they need their alone time then let them have their alone time if they need some space and if they don't want to be around you it usually has nothing to do with you as a person or you as a system it's just that there are things that need to calm down there are things that are not in anyone's control so Respect your own limits, set boundaries and respect them. Have just have general respect for each other. That's very important for us. And yes, you're valid too. Remember yes. that. Every person is valid. Every person is valid, every altar is valid and I'll, I also had to learn that. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's important, like we had a long journey yes. from both sides. So. We, we did. <laughs> and we still do. We have a long yeah. way to go. We do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's the best part of being a system and what's the worst part? So the best part of being a system is I wouldn't be alive. I'm still living. I'm still here fighting and I'm still I have the chance to enjoy and build a future and without my system I wouldn't be able to do that and I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> um, the worst part of being a system is definitely the stereotypes that you have to put up with, the general lack of knowledge and information that people like going around telling you that this disorder is not existing not only from people that have no idea and know nothing about it as well as from professionals that claim to know everything so it can be very hard and difficult but I want you to know that just keep holding on there will always be people that tell you it's not real and this and that but just leave their opinion. If they're skeptical, that's totally okay. If they have constructive criticism, that's okay. But if they just have statements and they don't want to listen to your story and they don't want to learn, then 
just shut them out of your life. It's toxic and it's not worth wasting your own time and mental health and stability for someone who's not even willing to listen. When did we find out we're a system? I know or our official diagnosis was a bit over a year ago, like we were diagnosed last year in I think in June or July. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> um, I know that some other alters, I think Jake, like he knew that we were a system, he suspected that. He, I think he was the one that was trying to get us to be diagnosed as a system. I am pretty sure our gatekeeper always knew that we were a system. So I didn't know. I just knew after the diagnosis. I wasn't there when we were diagnosed. I just kind of got there after our diagnosis. I was told I was a system and everything was pretty scary and I pushed it away for a long time. So uh, I realized after the diagnosis that I talked to Jake a lot in the past and even to Joey. Joey was often out in school before yes. he became a little, by the way. He yes. age slides a lot now, but in the past he didn't and he was like um, doing a lot of German stuff, I think. Yes. Jake was more the, the English person. Yes, Jake was always like the English and math person. And yes. Joey kind of was the German, German and everything else stuff, kind of. I was there too, but I don't remember a lot from our school years. They have been very traumatic for us. Like, completely traumatic, so. How have you guys been doing quarantine. So my own mental health is bad and at the start of quarantine it was bad. It was totally bad but due to lockdown she was not able to be with us. I wasn't able or we weren't able to be with her. She lives with her parents. I live at my dad's place. So, two different households, we were not able to visit each other, to be around each other. And I have the problem, I can't call people. So I couldn't phone her, I could text her, but when we write each, write each other, I always have a lot of time to overthink what I'm writing. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can't write that because I don't think she's interested or I feel like I can't trust her with that. And it's it was very complicated. I felt very alone. She's like the only person I can talk to. So it got worse. I had a lot of relapses and it was just not a pleasant time. Yeah, we didn't see each other for like over a month, I think. Yes. Six weeks. It was a long time. It was a hard time. Long Even time. for me, like my mental health was way better than yours. But it was still but still not bad. good. It was bad. <laughs> Like, it wasn't good for anyone. Yeah. If we could travel anywhere, where would we go? Japan. Asia. Asia. Definitely South Asia. South Korea. <laughs> South Korea, Japan. I'm not sure where I want to go more because I really like the cutesy style of Japanese fashion. I think it's very pretty and yes. adorable and I just really enjoy it. Yeah. As well as the food. I would really love to try the food stuff. And but also in South Korea, the food is yes. like, wow. <laughs> like, we really enjoy Korean food, we really enjoy yes. Korean culture. We like, or I myself, like, I love the fashion, she loves the makeup. Yes. And <laughs> <laughs> we also love the music, but... Yes, and the scenery. Yes, the scenery is just great. Like, in Asia in general, it's such a beautiful yes. scenery. And that's somewhere we would love to go sometime in the future. Yes, totally. If we could have a superpower, what would it be? What would yours be? I would like to teleport. Then I can just come to, to you and like 
a second. Yes. Like, <laughs> that would be very useful sometimes. Um, because, like, there are times when we need her, like, at four in the morning. Yes. And she would be there. She would text, she would call, she would do anything she can do. But she can't be there physically and yes. it makes a huge difference if you can be around someone physically than just being there over a text or anything. All of our sister members kind of want to have the same superpower, which is changing your appearance. It would be very great, not only because we could change our appearance to looking like ourselves and every altar would feel more comfortable but also other people around us would see that they are different people it's not like you tell them there are others and they're just like no they would physically be able to see what's going on and that's that would be very cool Cocon would be really funny. <laughs> um, just imagine, like, me, true, fronting with Sunny, like, our little, like, what height would we be? What hair would we have? What gender would we have? Like, it would be, like, pink, white, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Favorite colors? Pink and I, purple. I really love pastel colors. They are my favorite. I really, really enjoy them. They're just so beautiful. Yes. Isa likes black a lot. Yes, Isa loves black. Black is her favorite color. Jake, I think, is brown. Yes, he loves the brown tones. Drew is greenish brown, uh, like he wears the, those colors a lot. He also loves this this color. Yes. He loves this <laughs> color as well. Um, hold on. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. Favorite song. My favorite song at the moment. I, I have a lot of favorite songs. They're all of, the, all of the songs I really love. I will pop their names up on screen. These were all songs that helped me hold on through a lot of bad times. And when I say they helped me hold on, I literally mean they were part of the reasons we were just going from minute to minute. Like it was not a, I enjoy the song and it keeps me throughout the day and it makes me feel better. It was just, let me move on to another minute. Let me survive for another three minutes. It's, it was important. Yeah, we really enjoy the music genre, K-pop, yes. like Korean music. And it has a lot of feeling energy. Like, they help me through a lot, they also help her through a lot, so that really means a lot to us. Yes. Favorite makeup product? I love blush. <laughs> she loves so blush. hard. <laughs> and highlighter. But... Like, she has a thousand blushes and a thousand highlighters she never uses. I use them. No, she, no you don't. I use them. <laughs> I love eyeliner, black eyeliner. That's my favorite product. Next to black eyeshadow. What's your favorite hobby? I uh, we love dancing. It's yes, a thing we connect to, like it, really. Yes, we dancing. dance a lot. <laughs> dancing is something that we connect over a lot. It's something we can both do. It's very relaxing for both of us. It really helps with also building confidence when yes. you dance with each other and you can, like correct each other and you can 
learn just being more confident yes. in front of someone else. It's good. We and love playing games. We love playing games together, whether it's Minecraft, we enjoy playing Minecraft. Or Animal Crossing. Or Animal Crossing <laughs> together. It's Or Sims. Sims yes, is Sims. also great. Yes. Um, I love reading a lot. I read a lot. Yeah, she loves reading. I love drawing. She gains energy due to reading. And like we gain energy through drawing or yes. building stuff in Minecraft. So we have our own energy pools where we can have access to. So that's really great. Favorite animals. Do we have favorite animals? I have three. She has three. First of all, ducks. Ducks are super cute. Pandas. pandas. She loves pandas. Yes. And bunnies. <laughs> and bunnies. And bunnies. And bunnies. And bunnies. And little bunny. Little bunny. You're a little bunny. Yeah. 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 Snuggle. You remain the snuggle bug, right? Yeah. What's my friend? What's my nickname for you? Snuggle bug. Snuggle bug. Snuggle bug. Snuggle bug. Snuggle bug. Snuggle bug. Yeah. My little snuggle bug. Sorry. Um. Our favorite animals are cats. Like someday in the future, when we have, when we're able to live in our own apartment, in our own place, when we have enough money, we would really appreciate if we were able to get like two cats. Yes. And the next questions are kind of the same, or they're pretty similar. Um, does anyone know? Like you have DID besides your girlfriend, as well as are you more open towards other people that you are a system? Are you switches more obvious or are they more hidden and you don't like to know that others know that you are a system? So we are not particularly hiding that we are a system. It's a fact but the people around us besides her um, they usually don't really talk about it that much they either just like they usually pretend it's not there because it's something that's not only hard to comprehend for us it's also hard for the people that are around you that have also to deal with Thinking about things they may have done wrong in the past, um, learning about you as a system, it has been a very tough journey for both of us. Yes. We are struggling to comprehend all of it as a team and it's hard for others that are not as close to us. So it, We're not particularly hiding it. It's more like a fact that people around us don't really like to talk about. My mom tries, but she talks more to me, which is not the best thing yes. to do. If you want to know something about the system, ask them personally. Yes, if you have any <laughs> questions, ask us. Yes. Feel free to ask. We are very open. We want to be an open book to you. So you can learn from our experience. Of course, we can't talk for every system, but we can talk from our experience and from our own knowledge. Will you try to make or remake your system icons on Gacha Life 2? So if you don't know, our little icons that are somewhere on the screen are made in Gacha Life. All of our alters did them, so you have a better image on who's talking at the moment. And if you're interested in us remaking them, or if you are interested in watching it in the video, then comment down below. We are more than happy to do so. If you would like to watch it, then comment it and... And leave a like. Yes, and leave a like. <laughs> <laughs> what does our system as a whole value? We value her a lot. She's the most important thing in our life. Without her, we wouldn't be here. And she's one of the reasons I'm still alive. And when I say that, I literally mean that. She has been there in a lot of bad times. And she shows us that they are not just bad people. They are good people that really try their best 
to be there for you. There are people that want to be there for you. And it's great to have that. How did we come up with our system name? <laughs> it was her idea. Mm -hmm. It was her suggestion and when we were thinking about a system name, she was like, why don't you name yourself Pizza System? And then she came up with a wonderful explanation. Like the body is the dough of the pizza and all altars are like different toppings are, are making the pizza complete. And as a whole, they are just one big yummy pizza. Yes, we are a system and with every topping we work together. Not just one thing, we are together as a whole. Yes. So that's great. If we had one wish, what would you wish for? I would wish for you to be in a better place mentally. Yes. I want you to feel better and I hope that you are at some point getting a bit better. And like can say that you love yourself. I know that you don't and that you're pretending a lot of times. She's always pretending that she's fine. Yes. Guys, she should stop that. Yes. Like, I'm a person you can talk to. I know. And I hope that you do that. That's my one wish. Yes. My wish would be just to be in a place like having your own apartment where we are away from old places where we really have a neutral environment to start healing completely, body-wise, mentally, and hopefully with her as well. Yes. Do you know any other systems from Germany? And do you like to talk to other systems in general? So from Germany, the body is from Germany, we currently live in Germany. We know one system personally. They are wonderful, they are very adorable and cute, we really like talking to them, they are still on their journey as well of accepting the diagnosis, getting to know the system members and everything which is very important and they often talk to us for our opinion, for advice and they really enjoy talking to us because they know they're not alone, which is very important. And it's just something I would not want to miss. They are wonderful in general and I love them. And we love them. So that's great. But regarding talking to all these systems on the internet, I think it's quite hard for us especially for myself, I have a lot of social anxiety, especially talking or writing with other people. I'm not the best in building relationships and understanding specific things, as well as our own mental health is important. And I'm not sure if I'm able or that we are able to handle more than our own lives at the moment. It has nothing to do with the other systems. We have, of course, sometimes write, write with other people. If you have questions for us, we do try to answer them. If you send us lovely messages, we read them and we do reply to them. But if it's just regarding you wanting to be like friends with us it's quite hard for us because having a stable relationship is something that I myself personally struggle with a lot with even with the friends we already have we are not able to write with them it's a lot of anxiety that has or that is going along with it and it's already with the people we know, so with new people we feel like we owe you something and we really would like to talk to others, but it's so stressful and so anxiety inducing that at the moment it's not something we do. Maybe we will do that in the future when we feel more comfortable, when we're in a better mental state to do that, so I hope you understand that. I hope you're okay with that because I respect my own boundaries 
at least I try to, and that's something of limit right now. Under what circumstances have you been diagnosed? It kind of have been like the worst circumstances ever, at least like for us. So our diagnosis was after two hospitalizations that were needed and we were not in a good place in general, not mentally, not physically, nowhere near the hospitals we were in. They were not a good place as well. It was a very traumatic time for all of us and it was just not a good circumstance so we have been diagnosed or our diagnosis or has followed a lot of trauma, pain and a lot of sadness and loneliness, anger, etc. And a lot of mis- Diagnosed. Yes, a lot of mis a lot of misdiagnosis. <laughs> yes, it. This is like our misdiagnosis stuff is yes. a whole video itself. So, yes. if you would want to see that, write it in the comments again. And lastly, now to the last question: How do you feel about us being a system? In the beginning, when I like when you told me finally that you have DID, I was afraid to hurt some of you. But right now, I can't imagine my life without them being a system. I can't really remember the time where I had just either. It's just I love all of you so so much, and I don't want to miss any of you. Even though, don't think that I'm good with all of them. There are some people that don't like me. And I still try to like, oh, to get to know them better. Trying to understand them, kind yes. of. But I can't re imagine you being a single anymore. <laughs> I just yes. need all of you guys. Like when she says, I can't imagine just you being Isa. It was, Isa is like the mask we had. Yes. She just knew us as Isa because we never were called with our or the buddy's name Isa, but it was always Isa. So. It's just kind of referring to that, us, the idea of us being a singlet. Like, that's when we talk about Isa as old Isa thing. Yeah. Like, like that. <laughs> so, I think that's all for today. Today, for today's Q&A. We may do more Q&As in the future, maybe when we hit another pay yeah and i would love to be in your videos again so gather all your questions you have for us to answer in the next q a and and follow if you have haven't already yes so subscribe <laughs> to our channel if you're new have a look over to our patreon who also suggested this idea for celebrating 1k subscribers yes so you have a say in what we do and we are always welcome to hear your suggestions and we love the extra support of course you can always tell us what you're interested in us doing or seeing us do so feel free to talk and be a part of our little world yeah so see you guys next time bye bye